morning YouTube Poppy here I can say good Monday morning because I'm a retired person um, I didn't always think that when I wasn't a retired person but uh, it's another day it's raining it seemed like last week when I came on here it was about to rain had some beautiful days in between we're getting our fall colors on um, But a little autumn drizzle is kind of a nice thing to get up to sometimes. Um, smoking my Canadian medley. I think I've shared this one on here before. Nothing fancy or special, just the right length. And been a durably good smoking pipe for many, many years. In it, I have Captain Earl's Ten Russians. Which is kind of a cool blend. Um, Actually, there, I broke this open last night. There are probably only about nine Russians left in this can. Um, set my pipe down here. I can show you this. Is that not sweet looking? It is, of course, a Latakia blend. Heavy on the Latakia, they tell me. Uh, I'm not finding it overwhelmingly so. Nicely balanced. This was 10, 5 months ago, and it's mellowed pleasantly, and it's, they have, I guess I should refer to them in the plural, they have mellowed nicely in their can. I tried <clears throat> preparing this several ways last night. The first bowl I smoked, I just pinched a few corners off of it and stuffed it in the cob and smoked away on it, and I liked it. Uh, second, I cut some slices off of it and just didn't crumble them, just broke them, packed them kind of roughly in the pipe. Um, enjoyed that. And the third one, I went ahead and rubbed it out. And um, that's how I've got it in here this morning. I'm, I'm thinking it's a little, I can get a little more of the nuances um, with it, with it uh, rubbed out. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, you guys that have smoked it may think, Wow, that's kind of a strong tobacco to be smoking in the morning, and, you know, sometimes you want steak and eggs for breakfast, and sometimes you want oatmeal. I'm having steak and eggs this morning. Something more robust. I've learned over the years that my palate really doesn't do a good job of telling time. It wants what it wants when it wants it. Um, so I try to accommodate that. And so here we have pretty heavy Latakia smoke. got some orientals in it I'm sure some Virginia maybe maybe a little bit of burley oh, I'm not getting any burley definitely got the orientals and the Latakia but very smooth very nice a lot of times tobacco straight out of the tin just don't sit well on my tongue I have to let them sit up in a jar for a few weeks but I'm finding somewhere around five months of age or so in that tin because the last two or three I've taken out I had the crooked lane from C&D last week about a month ago, I had some Embarcadero from GLPs, and they had all been in the tins for a minimum of five months. Crooked Lane, year and a half. Um, and they didn't have any of that, uh, what I think of as new tin acidity uh, on my tongue when I first smoked them. So, um, lesson there for me um, to anticipate. <coughs> if I can. Uh, if I want to smoke something and I don't want to wait five months while it sits in its tin, go ahead and get out of the jar, put it in a jar for a few weeks, and it'll probably be about where it, it is after several months in the tin. Anyway, that's just me. Um, I just wanted to come on here quickly this morning just to comment on the fact that I've had so many people participate in my 100 sub giveaway. Thank you very much for that. Uh, very interesting array of answers. I've gotten uh, Bing Crosby and um, Donald Campbell, who a lot of people don't know, but it was a, um, I'm not even sure of the, the time frame, but um, uh, chased speed records. So I think certainly on the, on the water. I believe that's where he died, according to the information I was given. Um, Mark Twain. Um, 
need to make a list and just share this with you next week when we do the when I pull the name out of the hat. A um, lot of lot of interest in smoking with Gandalf and in hobbits, which which I think is cool because I've been a big fan of Tolkien. Uh, Tolkien and, and himself has has been on the list uh, along with C.S. Lewis. Um, but for fictional characters, yeah. Um, Gandalf and, and, and the different hobbits. Um, I think I first read, I don't know, mid 70s is when I first read The Hobbit and uh, The Lord of the Rings trilogy. So, anyway, yeah, I appreciate y'all uh, participating and, and coming along and offering comments. Uh, some of y'all have want to smoke with deceased family members, which I certainly can relate to. Um, and I think that's very cool. Uh, fathers, grandfathers. Um, so I appreciate y'all sharing that kind of personal stuff too. Um, that's that's been very, very cool for me to to know that, that y'all would be willing to do that. So um, got another week to go, um, and I haven't checked my responses this morning. Kind of weird things happen. A couple of times I've had comments in my notifications, and when I go to the video to pull up the comments, they aren't showing up over there. Um, so uh, I'm not sure if that has to do with your privacy settings, my privacy settings. I think I don't know that I have any. I think everything I'm doing on here is public. Um, but anyway, if I can if I can find it on your channel <coughs> or a way to respond to you, um, I do like to have a comment back to, to everybody that has responded, um, even if it's just to say thank you for participating, because um, I, I really really do appreciate that. So anyway, that's enough for Monday morning. I'm going to sit here and finish my coffee and my bowl of nine Russians. Or maybe two, which means there will probably be eight tomorrow. Um, try it. If you're a Latakia smoker, try it. It's a, it's a good smoke. Good smoke. Um, and I'll try to get back on here again next week. Um, well, I need to. That's sort of what I committed to, isn't it? Um to put everybody's name in a hat and pull it out. Um, I've decided to add one more tin uh, of tobacco. Uh, I was going through my cellar, and um, it seems rather bland that everything I put in the giveaway should have Latakia in it. So I've got a tin of Guilford Courthouse, which I'm not even sure CND manufactures anymore, but this was put down, I think, in 2013. And it's a... Um, Virginia um, Oriental blend, Izmir blend, I believe is the Oriental in it, which makes me wonder if it won't smoke a lot like the um, Embarcadero that uh, I got from GLPs, which is which is uh, Virginia's and, and, and Turkish or Orientals. But anyway, I have the same tobacco in a flake form, so I'm going to keep the one tin of the flake, and I'm, the other one I'm, is probably a ribbon cut. That's a very common with Cornell and Deal. Um, so I'm going to add that fourth tin uh, along with, and, and here's another version of another one of those worry sticks that I make. Um, so we'll see how it, that next one turns out to, to go in the, the package. Anyway, thanks for spending a little bit of your Monday with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have, um, and ladies, not just guys. Um, that's why in the south of the word y'all is such a nice word because it covers both genders. I don't have to say guys and ladies. I can just say y'all, and I should stick with that. So I hope y'all have a great week. Um, and again, I appreciate you, quiet friends, uh, subscribers. Uh, thanks for coming over and, and looking at me and listening to me and talking to me. And um, peace, everybody. Please be kind.